So Leon, like I said, we're threat, um, at risk of floods and landslides um, and flooding. And that has two angles because um, there's the part that has to do with loss of tree cover, the deforestation piece, and then the parts that has to do with um, poor solid waste management. It's those two that actually negatively impact in the environment. We also need to um, kind of split, because um, yes, we talk about energy in terms of electrification of buildings and for households and businesses, but then we also have energy issues around cooking. So you might have a household that, have, that has access to electricity, but they use um, coal and firewood for cooking purposes. So when we're making decisions about transitioning to or improving access to clean energy, we should take those two components into consideration. Different parts of the country have different challenges when it comes to access to energy. If we think about like urban parts of the country, then the reliability of the energy is one of the biggest challenges, especially for firms that want to, let's say, optimize or even just transform products in, uh, in urban settings. And then, you know, like as you think about like providing constant and reliable electricity, you also want to make sure that the mix of the electricity produced comes not necessarily from, say, as it might be happening in Sierra Leone, a big boat producing electricity out of a generator, but rather like think more about how investments in hydro or other renewable can go in the mix of the energy of the energy that is supplied to the city. When you talk about Pakistan's um, energy policy on the whole, it's actually kind of an anomaly because it seems to be moving in the opposite direction of where the world trends are moving. Uh, we had the alternative renewable energy policy announced in 2019, uh, which set a target of um, uh, achieving 30% uh, of all energy from renewable sources by 2030. Now, in 2021, we had a newer policy. It slashed down this target to just 12% and also created space uh, to support hydro uh, energy generation. Three solutions to encouraging uh, the uptake of renewable energy in Pakistan could be for the government to A, encourage long-term loans for solar plants. Uh, these could be 10 to 20 year long loans so that it becomes feasible for solar plants to um, become operational. Secondly, uh, it can encourage off-grid solutions rather than um, investing in upgrading transmission lines, which is a very extremely uh, expensive proposition. It can uh, start by decentralizing uh, the supply of uh, power, and this can happen through mini and microgrids. Uh, it can look for hybrid solutions, uh, which can become operational in schools, hospitals, in rural areas. It can also do implement these hybrid solutions uh, in charging stations that can be set up for electrical vehicles as Pakistan has recently launched a EV policy. And lastly, it can also encourage setting up uh, net meters or smart meters um, in residential and commercial spaces.